The average e-commerce site built with WooCommerce has 30 to 50 active plugins for expanding functionality, integrating services, and improving the shopping experience. That's more than double the number of plugins on a typical WordPress install. And WordPress is designed to load all of these plugins on every page, regardless of if the plugin functionality is needed. These extra requests significantly impact speed and efficiency, ultimately impacting the user experience. In our lab tests, unutilized plugins impacted page speed scores as much as 40%. And dynamic plugin loading gives store owners and developers control over what plugins load on each page to massively improve the efficiency of pages on your site. And this improves the overall shopping experience. Dynamic plugin loading isn't just about speed, though. It's about creating smarter, more efficient processes for your site. First, you get faster pages that equal higher conversions. Every second saved improves your retention and increases conversions on an e-commerce store. Second, we're reducing the server load. Fewer plugins loading means reduced strain on your server and platform utilization. And finally, you get tailored customization. You get to manage which plugins are allowed on each page for optimal speed and compatibility. Dynamic plugin loading is designed with ease of use in mind. It starts working out of the box and can be customized and managed in just a few steps. Step one, activate. Dynamic plugin loading is on by default for all new sites with the e-commerce suite. If you're migrating your site or have an existing store, from the WP Engine portal, enable dynamic plugin loading by clicking on under your site settings. Step two, customize. Dynamic plugin loading is pre-configured to disable e-commerce related plugins on non-e-commerce pages. For example, for your homepage, if you don't require checkout features, you can disable it from the homepage without affecting its functionality on the cart or checkout pages within your store. To add a rule, click Manage and from the Rule Manager, select Add a Rule. This will open a pop-up where you can select a page or group of pages and the plugins you want to exclude from loading on those pages. Add a note about the rule and click save to create a rule without activating it or save and activate to push your rule live. Step three, test and validate. Before going live or when troubleshooting compatibility issues, use the built-in rule test tool to review how your page will behave when the rule is activated. With the test tool, you can test both active and inactive rules. Click the checkbox beside a rule and click test rule. This will open a new browser window running a test version of your site with the selected rules applied. This test does not affect your live production site. When testing a rule, the screen will open to your home page. Visit the page where your rules are being applied to ensure the page is functioning properly before pushing the rule live. Step four, monitor and refine. Finally, we recommend you regularly review your sites core web vitals and make adjustments to your rules to ensure your site is running its best. Dynamic plugin loading has a direct impact on three key page speed metrics used by Google PageSpeed Insights for assessing visitor experience. File size for smaller, leaner pages, giving you faster total page load times. Time to first byte for faster responsiveness for a better first impression and latency, reduced delays across the server for a smoother experience. Whether you're a merchant or developer tasked with performance optimization for an e-commerce customer, dynamic plugin loading gives you more control for improving shopper experience, performance, and the overall conversions.